A nurse is needed. In this modern workaday world, the need and the urgency of the need for qualified and competent nurses becomes more and more acute. The need of the woman and the boy is but a small cross-section of a vast panorama. It could all start here, the School of Nursing, where the first inquiries, the overture to a career, could start. The prelude to what may be an entire new way of life for you begins very simply in this office. Here, the prospective nurse is interviewed to determine the many things necessary to becoming a good nurse. Paramount among these things and congruent to the need for nurses is the desire for nursing. For the young woman must first want to be a nurse. She must have the ability to get along with others. Getting along with her fellow students can be the first step in getting along with a patient, perhaps a patient in suffering and it can be the first step in aiding to relieve that suffering. But now it's time to get acquainted with people and places, the people and places that in the next few years you'll come to know oh so well. These hallways and rooms, every stick of furniture in time will cease to be mere inanimate objects. They'll become close friends, and you'll find they're not the dull drab cells you might have expected. On the contrary, this is just like home. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, this is home for quite some time to come. But up until now, something seemed to be missing. And what was it? You couldn't put your finger on it till now. And that's it. The uniform. The dressing on the cake. Quite the young lady. And how well you look. However, all of these things you realize are the preliminaries. Now the real work begins. The education in the finer points of becoming a nurse. Work, study, work, study. Striving to attain the goal of perfection. Little things at first, little things that build to bigger things. Just put this under your tongue, please. Hmm, this looks interesting. the study of nutrition, for before the nurse knows sickness, she must know health. But say, who does the dishes? Along with the physical side, must out of need come the moral side. For God can no more be separated from health and from healing than can a doctor from his medicine. It is here that the time-worn but true saying is proved. Experience is the best teacher. The experience of the graduate nurse passed on during an interesting session in the ever-present classroom. It's a 50-50 deal between instructor and student, give and take, but which is which? Of necessity, the student nurse must do a certain amount of research on her own. For this purpose, a well-stocked library is always at her disposal. Pleasure and recreation play a vital role in the education of a nurse. The program must be well-rounded, and the lighter moments fit into the scheme of study. Music, games, or just plain sitting around, taking it easy. After all, nurses are human. Let's see, what'll it be? Beethoven, Bach, or Boogie Woogie? move. Did we say just like home a little while ago? It sure is. Say, what's on TV? Ah, the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in Nurses' Homes. Harmony, that all-important letter from home, or maybe just that all-important letter. Angels of mercy with appetites. And uh, also a good time to catch up on all the latest hospital news. 
You don't say, really, my. More harmony, this time with the Student Glee Club. This could be the key to a successful nursing career, singing together and working together. Done here for fun, but teaching so that someday it may be done to save a life. Working together then with the doctor and the technician. her education runs the central theme that to serve man and science, the nurse must first serve God. What is more natural than asking God's help in serving his suffering children? Now all the months of intensive training begin to pay off. Little things again, before for practice, but now for real. Slowly at first, and always under the watchful eye of a registered nurse, acting as the supervisor and the guide. This is a rocking bed or aid in the treatment of polio. And now, other important things. The student nurse fully realizes that in the business of saving a life or relieving pain and suffering, even the most minute detail can take on the importance of a life or death matter. Charts must be checked, checked again, and then rechecked. Another aspect of the constant education of the student nurse, preparing for OR, or in the language of the layman, the operating room. The doctor is ready, the patient is ready, and you, the student nurse, are ready. Of all things, this perhaps most is the picture derived from the word nurse, the figure in the surgical gown and mask, assisting the surgeon as he works, swiftly and skillfully. And now it's over, another life saved, and you played a mighty important part on a mighty important team. And here's still another facet of nursing experience, the mother instinct. You're in good hands, little one. An accident, the ambulance and emergency, the need for quick, sure treatment, where seconds may mean an eternity. But nothing so dire here. It's a simple treatment for a simple wound. First to wash it, and then prepare the dressing. And uh, this will hurt a little. Ouch! But in addition to duties, also rewards. This is the capping ceremony, one of the biggest days in the life of the student nurse almost bigger than graduation, for this is the first full sign of recognition. It is this beautiful and symbolic ceremony that conveys to the student that somehow it was all worth it, and that whatever comes in the future will be worth it.
approach a high point of your education as a nurse, the white cap, time-honored mark of your profession, and the lighting of the candle, calling to mind the flame of Florence Nightingale, the lady with the lamp. And you, you are a modern-day lady with the lamp. No matter what satisfaction your education as a nurse may bring you in later life, it will be but a reflection of the reward promised for giving even a cup of water in his name. Today's students, tomorrow's nurses. This is the army in white serving the sick. But the army is small. Nurses are needed to keep up with the constant demand created in the hospitals, the home, the industries, and government. If you can fill this need, Nursing needs you.